Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Bleach, Chapter 612. Um, I am going to the Royal Rumble this Sunday wrestling event. Um, so I am home for a few days. So that's why I am going to have a couple videos with this background, and then right away, I'm going to go <laughs> be back to my old background, uh, in case you were wondering. But, um, yeah, Bleach, chapter 612. This was such a quick and simple chapter, like, seriously. Like, there, I mean, it, it's, we, we get something in the beginning where Yuha says that the Spirit King can see the future. Then why didn't he do anything? Like, I, 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 like, if, like, if, if Yuha Bak was legitimately a threat to ruin everything that the Spirit King has, has done in terms of, like, keeping the, keeping, uh, the balance between the three worlds, if Yuha Bak was seriously a threat to that, then the Spirit King would have done something, if he can truly see the future. So since he didn't do anything, that must mean that Yuha Bak is not a threat, so then why should I take him seriously at this point? You know? What, like... See that, um, this is why I don't like it when people use time travel or just concepts of the future in general, because they're usually going to screw it up in some way. Stein, I'm, I got, I watched Stein's Gate, and I'm too used to that because that is perfect. Stein's Gate is perfect when it comes to time travel. Rave Master did it perfectly as well, though the entire series of Rave Master isn't about time travel, it's just one arc, but um, still, you know. But then I see something like Fairy Tale, which is funny because they're done by the same guy, Rave Master and Fairy Tale. He did, he did time travel perfectly in Rave Master, but then he just completely screwed it up in Fairy Tale and it made no freaking sense. Alright, like, <laughs> I, I, and, he, and this isn't even that bad, because he's not even doing time travel, he's just talking about the future, and he still messed it up. You know, so, I just... I mean, that, uh, to be fair, it is Shonen, so you know he's... You know Yu Habak is gonna lose anyway. But at least, like, make the characters believe that he's, that he's a threat, you know? Like, we have the advantage of seeing through the fourth wall, but they don't, so at least make it... So that in story, the guy is still a threat. But now the spirit now the spirit's just been essentially revealed that he's not a threat. He's not he's gonna fail in the end. The spirit king already knows. The ending has been spoiled, so it's it's not gonna be as impactful when it finally happens. Um, but whatever. <laughs> you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. At this point I'm only reviewing Bleach because it doesn't take that long. You know, Bleach isn't that good at this point. It's it's really not. Um, I'm like a month behind in One Piece, a month and a half behind in One Piece, really, I'm like five or six chapters behind. Once I catch up to that, maybe I'll decide to bring the One Piece reviews back, I doubt it, because from what I hear, it's, it's nothing much has changed in terms of quality, but, but I will admit, though, that I, actually, no, that's, <laughs> now we're getting onto a different topic, no, um, moving on to the rest of the chapter, all right, we've got... Renji, Rukia, Soifon, Omaida, and Momo. And Shinji, actually. Alright. They, they meet with Kisuke and Yoroichi's brother. Um, Byakuya, Mayuri. Uh, Rose and Kensei, who are being controlled by Mayuri. Uh, and the entire 12th Division are going to be meeting up with them as well. Um, Rangiku and Hitsugaya are still... Their status is unknown. So I guess I guess it just means Mayuri hasn't reported back yet or something like that. Um, no, because Biaki reported for so that's that that uh, I'm I'm actually curious about that why Hitsugaya's and Rangiku's statuses would be unknown, seeing as though Mayuri had ample opportunity to work with Hitsugaya the same way he did Rose and Kensei, and Mayuri is with Biakia. And Byakuya reported. So if Hitsugaya's and Rangiku's statuses are still unknown to Kisuke, it must be because Mayuri just doesn't know what to do. Or he just hasn't figured anything out yet. Right? He, there, Hitsugaya and Rangiku are at a point where he doesn't know if he'll be able to do something. Um, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. 
Um, but yeah, um, but I guess I should talk about why it is that all these people are meeting up. Kisuke says that they are going to break into the spirit palace. Okay. One of the things that annoys me about Bleach, because it happens every once in a while, are plot devices where it's set, the story is set up in a way where something shouldn't be possible, but in order to accomplish the, the impossible, they introduce a plot device. Okay, but it just, like, honestly, it was, Aizen's entire goal was to get into the Spirit Palace. Okay, he, he lost. <laughs> Therefore, you can say it was difficult for him to get into the Spirit Palace, but it's like these guys are inventing a new way to get up there every five minutes. You know, it, if, if, if it was really that easy, then why didn't Aizen do it? He, he... Why didn't he just create a way? Why didn't he just control? He had everybody there had seen his Shikai, right? So why not just con like control everybody? Have Mayuri come up with a way? Have Kisuke come up with a way? You know, and then you had then you have all their spirit power there, you know, and, and then just these like like if, why couldn't Aizen do this? <laughs> you know, like I like he. Tite Kubo is making it way too easy to go to the Spirit Palace to the point where it just, it's just kind of silly and stupid, really. Like, they shouldn't. This, it's, it's just ridiculous, really. And, you know, I love Kisuke Urahara. I really do. But he's one of the most guilty characters in Bleach when it comes to this, okay? Because whenever there's something that's impossible, whenever there's something that shouldn't be capable of being done, he does it. And the way he does it is he just creates a way. That's it, and that's a load of crap. <laughs> you can <laughs> if something is impossible, you have to explain why it is that that thing or that action is impossible, and then you have to explain why you're capable of doing it despite it being impossible. All right. All Kisuke does is say, "Yeah, I know it's impossible, but I invented a way. We have a lot of spirit power. Woohoo! You know that's that's not no." That's that, that's ridiculous. Okay, that, I'm, I get that's just a load of crap. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You know, it, this is this is why I like series like the Regular Magic High School because they take something like flight magic and they explain why it is that every past attempt at creating flying type magic has failed. And then when Tatsuya Shiba does create flying type magic, he explains why his attempt was able to succeed despite the fact that all of the other ones failed. They actually explain things in the regular Magic High School, and everything makes freaking sense. But in Bleach, but <laughs> there are times when nothing makes sense because Tite Kubo doesn't explain things. He makes things so vague that it just ends up not making any sense at all. You know, it's... It... Whatever, you know, I <laughs> get Bleacherton's final arc. It's, you know, uh, <laughs> oh, man. maybe he just wants to fit. No, he doesn't want to just finish up. It's freaking Tite Kubo. If he, if he could, he'd probably have this arc last for another 10 years. Or some, on some One Piece crap. <laughs> oh, man, you know, I get. I feel like I feel like I'm being too hard on him, but at the same time, I feel like it's not that much to ask to explain things in a way that they make sense, instead of just pulling things out of thin air, just for no reason other than because you know, just because you know. I feel like it's not that hard to ask, especially since I'm a writer myself. You know, I feel like it's <laughs> it's not that hard to explain things, and if there is something that cannot be explained, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Maybe you should come up with a different way of accomplishing that end goal. Okay, because usually when you write, you have a beginning point and you have an end point, and then you just want to create a path to get to that end point. In this case, the end point is a bunch of people in a spirit palace. Okay. However, these people are going to get into the spirit palace, you should at least do it in a way where it makes sense for eyes and to not be able to do it. If Aizen can just go to control, you know, Shukaku or whatever, or, or whatever her name is, 
Uh, if he can just go control the captains and lieutenants, if he and Mayuri Kuratsuchi specifically, if if Aizen could have potentially done all these things, then why didn't he do it? You know, <laughs> Aizen is not an idiot. <laughs> if, if, if he he could have easily controlled the smartest minds in the Serete, Smartest, what, what, the smartest minds in the three worlds, three dimensions, whatever you want to call them. Okay, he, well, he could have easily just controlled the smartest minds there. Kisuke, Mayuri, um, add himself in. Why not? Because he's smart too. Freaking add in Xylopro for all I care. <laughs> I really don't care. Control them all and have them come up with a way to get into the spirit palace. If it's as easy as they're making it out to be, where Mayuri Kurotsuchi could just create a way in five minutes, because think about it, it's only been like a day. It's been less than a day. You know, like, has, or how, you know, though to be fair, we we don't know exactly how long Kurotsuchi was working on this, but it couldn't have been that long, because the threat of the, I mean, oh, what was it, like a few months maybe? Yeah, I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him a few months. I'll, I'll say he had a few months from the from the first attack. I'll give him to wherever they are. They are now. I'll say he had he had that much time to work on it. But even then, Eisen could have easily done that as well. If he has time to manipulate the entire Serete, if he has time to take over Waco Mundo, if he has time to invade the world of the living, if he has time to do whatever he freaking feels like in all three worlds, in all three dimensions in the Bleach first, then why couldn't he get a couple people together and have them create and have them do the same thing they're doing now? <laughs> you know, I, 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 again, maybe I'm criticizing too much, but I don't feel like it's that... I don't feel like it's too hard... I don't feel like it's that bad to ask for things to make sense. It's really not that hard to ask. It's not that bad of a thing to ask for. So I really don't think I'm overreacting. <laughs> but, you know, some people might say, well, it's Bleach. You, you know, you come to expect things like that. And I do, I have come to expect things from Bleach like this. But it doesn't mean I have to like it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's that. I guess I'll, let me just finish this review because I... I said I only review Bleach because it doesn't take too long. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> there's going to be a 15-minute review, Jesus. All right, let me just finish this up. Um, the chapter ends with Ichibe, okay? And he he says that Ichigo and the others can't beat Yuhabak, all right? And the way he phrased it, I'm going to take it to mean that he sent them there as bait pretty much. He knows that they can't beat Yuha Bak, but he's sending them anyway because despite the he needs he needs them for some reason to fight Yuha Bak. He doesn't expect them to win. He doesn't think they'll win. He knows he knows they won't win, but he's sending them there anyway because he needs them to fight for him to accomplish this this secret objective that's known only to him, which is why it's a secret. Um, it could be something as simple as buying time so that he can recover his energy and stuff. Um, maybe it's, maybe he's pulling a Kisuke Urahara and he's using them to weaken Yuha Box so that he can create some random Kido off the top of his head that will seal eyes in forever. Okay. <laughs> the plot devices, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're ridiculous, alright. Um, maybe he's, speak, speaking of eyes, and maybe he's going to buy time using, ha maybe he's going to have them buy time so that he can go and free Aizen and then have him go and beat Yuha Bak with the Bankai that he never thought to use before. The Bankai that you can't become a captain without having. <laughs> Unless you yourself kill the previous captain, which technically, I guess you could say, I mean, he didn't, but technically, I guess you could say no, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> he didn't, so no, no, that, no, all right, he became, the only way he can become a captain is if he has a bomb tie, yet yeah, he never thought to use it in the, like, in the, <laughs> the more I talk, the more stuff I find that doesn't make any freaking sense, um, <laughs> oh my God. okay, whatever, May, the point is, Ichibe has some type of secret objective, all right, where he's trying to use Ichigo and the others, 
All right, and it's impossible to tell what it is, but I put out some suggestions there. If you guys have some suggestions, feel free to post them. Um, or not, uh, not suggestions, uh, theories. If you guys have any theories, feel free to post them. Um, yeah, that's that's it for this chapter. Honestly, originally I was going to give it a 6 out of 10, but the more I talk, the more I convince myself to give it a 5. Because, <laughs> because those plot devices, man, I'm telling you. They <laughs> the, the feature thing, I, was, I wasn't even thinking that much about the feature thing. I didn't even realize how silly that is until I started talking and started recording this review. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I actually realized. Like, this is stupid. It makes no freaking sense. If he can see the future, then he can see that Yuha Bak is either going to be a threat or not be a threat. He can see if he's going to succeed or fail. And if he was going to succeed, then he would do something to try and change that future. But he didn't. Therefore, Yuha Bak must be failing. <laughs> he must fail in the end. All right, so I mean, <laughs> there's that. Of course, there's the whole plot devices of coming up with a million and one ways to get to the spirit palace, which is stupid. Um, they essentially they essentially said, screw the rest of the screw the rest of the Quincy that are down here. We're going up to the spirit palace. We're meeting up right now. Abandon those fights. <laughs> if it means Cesarete gets destroyed, then who cares? <laughs> who gives a crap? All right, we're going up to the spirit palace. Screw, screw all these freaking souls in here. We told them that going to the soul society would be the best thing that would ever happen to them, and now they're being killed by freaking Quincy's. But who gives a crap? All right. <laughs> The more I talk, the more I convince myself. The more I talk, the more, the more it happens, I swear. Now, I'm giving this chapter a 5 out of 10. It was below average. It was kind of silly. Plot devices, things that don't make sense, and just kind of just silly. It was just kind of stupid, all right? That's that's what this chapter was. It just wasn't good, all right? The Ichibei stuff was kind of interesting, but that's about it. I'm interested in the rest of the soul reapers going up to the spirit palace but i'm just not interested in how they do it because at this point i already know it's not going to make any sense either that or it's just going to be something that tite kubo comes up with off the top of his head that he never explains that where we that way we can't technically disprove it and say that it doesn't make any sense because he didn't give us enough details to tell us how it actually freaking works <laughs> but yeah it's just <laughs> this chapter does not give me much hope it really does not give me much hope at all Alright, but that's why I'm giving it a 5 out of 10, because it just wasn't that good. And that is that, you guys. I talked way too long about Bleach. <laughs> Can I say Bleach doesn't take that long to review? Then I go and talk for 18 minutes. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it, you guys. Try to get to 5 out of 10. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.